So I'm here uh, photographing winter sports for the Minneapolis Institute of Arts. It's not something I'm familiar with. So I've been looking at uh, ice hockey, pond hockey, uh, ice fishing, curling, all these things which are quite different and new for me. So it's quite exciting to uh, come across these for the first time. My philosophy is you come in, you do your absolute best. I mean, three days is a real push, but it all happens really at the weekend with the Ice Hockey World Championships. So I've got to be very together and go to all these different places and, you know, very quickly and efficiently milk it. It's a great challenge, but I love to be pushed. So uh, I'm enjoying and relishing the challenge of trying to get something half decent in this very short window. The thing that's interesting is that people are addicted to this cold weather. They, they rely on this for their sports. And early in the winter, when it was very mild, people were getting quite depressed. And now that the, uh, it's uh, minus 10, five degrees to you, uh, people seem to have come out of themselves. So the, the thing is that uh, there is this reliance and support, if you like, for the winter sports and for the cold temperatures up here. So they're, they're very incorporated. So people can't complain about the cold because they actually are all addicted to it. Well, with something like pond hockey, you get to see the rhythm, you get to see where your best uh, opportunities are. We also have the problem of uh, acclimatizing the cameras. If you go in with your camera having shot outside, it immediately steams up for about five minutes. It'll warm up, but of course, you've missed the action. So we have usually one camera uh, lodged indoors and one camera outside. It's quite complicated. I mean, America's a very easy place to shoot because Americans, generally speaking, are pretty friendly. Despite what you might think, virtually no one here objects to being photographed. It's one of the easiest countries in the world to shoot in. No wonder there's so much good American photography. One of the things that's been arranged, which is uh, very positive for me, is, is the possibility to have the pictures run as a sort of supplement or a wrap within the uh, local uh, Star Tribune paper, which will mean we can get uh, the message out to uh, as many people as possible, because winter sport is a very popular subject, while as art photography isn't. So if you combine the two, you can get onto a winner.